that body clip a horse today. And what you want to make sure you have is you want to have a big pair of clippers meant for body clipping, preferably Oster, but I'm sure there's other brands that are good. And the Wall Stable Pro or a clipper, a smaller clipper for the uh, faces and the feet. And you want to make sure that you have something to keep the clippers cool, like a cooling spray. And you need to have oil for your clippers, otherwise you're going to run into trouble. Now the best clipper job works when you have sharp blades, which you can take it to um, a lot of horse stores. You can uh, get your blade sharpened, or of course new clippers work well, or new blades. And uh, the one thing to remember when you're clipping is to always go against the grain of the hair and um, check often to make sure your blades aren't getting hot. If they are, you need to give them a break, spray your coolant on there, brush it with a brush, put some oil back on it, let it cool down before you start again. Um, you want to take long, long strokes so you don't have a choppy look and uh, try to use the big clippers on as much of the body as possible um, to keep it a nice smooth look so you don't get too close to the skin, which happens often with the small clippers. Um, a good clip job, I'm doing the whole body today, a good clip job, uh, you know, you could do it in a couple hours, depends on the horse, how well they behave. Um, <clears throat> if you uh, uh, need to do a special clip, uh, what I would recommend is taking some chalk and uh, outlining the horse's body where you want to clip so you can get a nice even clip first. Okay, now that you have a better view, we'll go ahead and start clipping. Turn these on. They're a little touchy. There we go. Then we move on to the back. And we let it rest. Now, a couple places you've got to be careful of is when you go along the hairline of the mane, and we're going to go up along here, make sure you're not getting into the mane straight up. Okay, that's one place you got to be careful of. And on the tail, what you want to make sure of is that you have a nice V shape on his bottom, right above the tail. I'll move him over a little bit. So I'm going to show you the bottom. Okay. coming from the top of the bottom down neatly into the tail, all right? Um, if you are doing a cute little pony on some horses, sometimes you might want to leave a little cutout shape um, that might be fun. Sometimes we put little hearts on our ponies and whatnot. Um, but other than that, I'm going to just start clipping away a little bit, and I'll show you when we get to some little more technical stuff.
things to mention is when you clip, wear clothing where hair won't stick to it. Something like this. If you wear a fuzzy shirt, it's going to be a disaster. Another thing to remember is make sure your horse is relatively clean. He's dirty, but he doesn't have like mud or anything horrible sticking on him because otherwise it'll muck up your clippers. Okay, you can see you got to clean your clippers often. You can do that with a, a little scrapey brush to get into your blades, or you can use just an old horse brush to clean on it and check it off and make sure you check your vent because it gets clogged by hair. So then take a cooling spray, spray it on your, your blades, all right? Don't get stingy with it. And in your big clippers, you'll see there's a little place for oil. It's a little circle on the top. You want to put a little bit of oil in there. Sometimes you can even put it along the blades, depending on your clipper. These clippers aren't hot yet. Uh, this is messy work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clip some more. And then, actually, I'll clip some legs so you can see how we go do that. tend to get a little fussy around their, their legs and their tickle spot. Um, you may have to, if your horse is really fussy, you might have to switch to your smaller clippers. Um, just make sure when you do your smaller clippers that you have the blades set so it won't cut too close to the skin because then you'll really see the lines. Now you see when you don't make perfect cuts, you can just go back over it later with the clipper to even it out. And then when we do clip, um, when you're clipping around these regions with the loose skin under their armpits, um, you're just going to have to pull the skin straight. A lot of times I'll get through here with the small clippers. But I've got most of the body done. So now I'm going to work on his face a little bit. I've done some of his legs. And like I said, if you can do most of it with your big clippers, the better, because then it'll look more even. And uh, so we'll see what he can tolerate. Otherwise, I'll have to move to the small clippers. And just be really careful of his eyes. Um, you know, if they're scared, then put it away. It's, you know, sometimes it's better just to tranquilize them to get them clipped and do a good job um, rather than put them through a fight. If you have a young horse that's never been clipped before, I'd recommend having your vet come out and tranquilize them first. And then hopefully they'll remember that as a really good experience and not mind clipping from there on out. Um, as far as uh, when to clip, there's really no perfect time to clip. Um, some people clip once in the fall and once in the spring or before spring comes. Um, it all depends on, you know, if you show heavily or not, um, if you have heated indoor arenas, that sort of thing. And uh, I tend to, you know, like to clip around the end of February just as they're starting to shed because their hair's coming in. So I clip and then hopefully the hair comes in, it's nice and shiny and healthy. So I'll go ahead and start some of the face. <laughs>
So if they start getting fussy, switch to another part and check the blades, make sure they're not too hot because you'll don't fuss if it's hot because you're burning them. Um, and then we'll go back and clean this up with the small clippers in a minute. So here's the finished product. Pony's been clipped head to toe. And there'll be some lines when you're all done and complete. And uh, don't worry, those will disappear. You give them a week or two and uh, he'll look good as new. And um, one thing to remember, when you are uh, using the small clippers, is that try to use a larger set of blades, not the 15s, maybe, or I mean not the 30s, but try to use 10s, so it doesn't cut too close to them. And also remember that once you've clipped your horse, depending on your um, your region, please make sure that you have appropriate clothing for your horse to keep them warm. They'll be at their most vulnerable the first week. Um, especially the first couple days, <clears throat> make sure they have a well bedded stall because they'll lay down in their shavings to stay warm because their legs and underbelly are going to be pretty cold. Uh, so make sure you have proper blankets and sheets, especially outside in the wind or if you have cold temperatures um, until the season changes and it warms up. And I think that's it. So job well done. Looks like we have a pony that's going to be ready to go horse show. Ooh.